guys happy Sunday so what you just saw me put on is this uh, sunscreen by dermatology uh, SPF 45 a viewer sent this to me to try out so thank you um, and I had never heard of this brand before I went on their website to check it out and I only opened the website briefly and then I I got distracted um, but this particular sunscreen I really like it is a combination sunscreen which always means that there is zinc and then a chemical filter to give um, additional broad spectrum coverage but to allow for less of a cast so this is zinc and octinoxate and it's fragrance free it um, is uh, also has niacinamide in it, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of in sunscreens. Uh, you know, it imparts a little bit of a brightening effect. It's a good moisturizing ingredient. It also can be helpful for redness. It can be helpful for hyperpigmentation. I mean, it it's beneficial and is in many moisturizers. I mean, it's in, in a lot of things and uh, it's helpful. And this also has hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant. It goes on really, really well and it doesn't leave a cast as you hopefully saw in, in the up close there. Um, as you're putting it on, you will see some white, but that definitely is gone um, very, very shortly after application. The white dries down completely transparent. There is, uh, it's not greasy, it's not shiny, it um, dries pretty matte, but at the same time is moisturizing. I really like this. Um, okay, I don't have anything bad to say, but I have to warn you guys, it is bizarre in that this sunscreen smells like a pool float, <laughs> a swimming pool float, or something at the beach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, are you okay? <laughs> uh, don't you agree? You put it on yesterday. Uh, yes, you told me to get, you know, what does this smell like? And um, after I had rubbed it in, you could tell the scent. It's like, um, you know, one of those blow up uh, parties. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like when you're laying on a, a beach towel. Yeah. There's the, I can't describe it. It's not the smell of chlorine. It's not the smell of ocean water. It's, it's not the smell salt, of coconut. Either. It's not the smell of coconut. It's specifically pool Final. and beach atop, a be beach uh, paraphernalia. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's a pleasant vinyl scent. Yeah, it's like, it, it's I don't know, I like the smell, but I have to warn you guys, it is the most bizarre thing. Interestingly, when I went on the website, I saw they had some uh, reviewers and some YouTubers, they must have um, had review this, and I saw that um, Mr. Kong's mom was on their website. Oh. So I don't know if she has a video talking about this. Um, I'd be interested to see it and to see if she noted the same yeah, thing. I'll have to, I'll have to look on her channel this, and see if she's flavor. ever reviewed this. They have a variety of serums and all that stuff you guys know I, I could care less about. But I also saw they have an active water resistant sunscreen as well. So yeah, um, uh, this, you know, they didn't send this to me. A viewer sent it to me. I, really, I, I actually really like it and I think it's a good good sunscreen. I'd be interested, intrigued to try their water resistant one. Yeah, I'm really glad that they sent you that to try because it's, it's It was good. a viewer, not not the company. Yeah, yeah it was a viewer sent it to me as a gift. Yeah. So I'm over here by the Natural Calm. You guys know I like to drink this Natural Calm. And I see they have the watermelon flavor back in stock. Um, it's on sale for $19.19. That's kind of expensive for, for this. You can get it cheaper on iHerb, that's where I order it from, but I'm almost out. But I see they have they have a Whole Foods brand of kind of natural calm, cherry fizz and lemon fizz. Comment below if you've had it. I'd be interested to try it perhaps in the future. But I love my natural calm. I drink it in cold water. You're supposed to drink it warm to get the calming effect. And, uh, but I like it cold. Uh, it's really good. I've been drinking it for a couple of years now and I really I really like it. Turmeric gummies. Please tell me these are vegan. Oh, they look to be vegan. I love gummy vitamins. Like I have a problem uh, you know, now that I'm vegan, <laughs> uh, I see they do still have a lot of vegan gummies that are just made with pectin instead of gelatin. Um, but I 
I feel like they're like candy and they're, I mean, they are candy basically. <laughs> like this is a candy turmeric gummy, but they're so good. I, I'd be interested to try these, but the hum um, vitamins, quote vitamins, they're just glorified candy. I love those. Uh, they're really good and they're vegan. Yeah, hum has a, has an orange uh, hyaluronic acid supplement or whatever it it's good <laughs> elderberry is really having a moment right now i mean everybody keeps recommending that i take elderberry and i mean fortunately knock on wood it's been probably four or five years since i have gotten a cold or flu i just don't get sick um i'm really lucky and uh so i i don't take any kind of like supplements or anything to not get sick but people swear by it it's definitely on trend but speaking of supplements for sickness when I was a child I every every year when I was a child like in elementary school age I would get a sore throat um, in the like late fall winter that was my my seasonal illness would keep me out of school for a few days and my mom would buy this slippery elm stuff the sire slippery elm i swear it was the the best thing it's uh it would just help the sore throat um that's not a medical recommendation or anything it's just my childhood experience with slippery elm <laughs> it really worked wonders Oh, update on the Alafia shampoo. I had to stop using it. It kept making my hair look greasy every time I every time I used it. So I I went back to Attitude shampoo. But I wonder if this Bougie Seeds Phytonutrient shampoo is any good. The moisture one or Anti Frizz moisture shampoo. I'd be interested to try that. It's cool. It is. Is it in a cardboard container? I don't know, paper container. This is vegan, cruelty-free. <laughs> Very expensive though. But that's really cool packaging. All brown. Is the entire thing made out of brown paper? That's cool. I tried a little sample of this Mop Top shampoo once and I loved it. It was really good. I think it was, uh, what scent did I try? Maybe the Bamboo Gentle shampoo? Yeah, it was the Bamboo Gentle. I really liked it. I mean, I only tried a little trial packet. I didn't use it like continuously for a week. Looks like Derma E has some fruity scented shampoos. That might be good to try at some point. $9.99. That's not too, too bad. Well, we're here at Whole Foods, and uh, you can see that sunscreen here in the natural lighting. Looks good, yeah, right? It's very good. It doesn't, doesn't leave any cast. <laughs> it's not uh, tinted, right? No. It's really bright. Just yeah, it doesn't need a tint. I wonder how the water resistant one is. If the water resistant one, the sport one, is greasy. It might be. I always say greasy. I don't know why I say that. It's greasy. 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 What did you get this morning? Um, well, I have my usual falafel to start, mm -hmm. but um, I did all oatmeal. And um, they had an amazing assortment of sprinkles. Yeah. Sprinkles. So I got coconut, um, platano chips, mm. berries, and um, pecans. Pecans, yeah. That's the pecans good. are always good. So I was excited because they have plain, no, no salt, no seasoning, no nothing, no oil, plain no plain rice cauliflower. So oh. I was able to mix it in with the oatmeal and do cauliflower oats, which I normally love. So that's what I got. It's um, mostly rice cauliflower. I also have some strawberries, um, their oatmeal. Their oatmeal is vegan because they don't put milk in it. And raisins, sesame seeds and cinnamon and there's also some uh, toasted coconut in there I don't know if you can see that and a few pecans so um, that's what I got and an Americano which is very good today you do a good job yeah I'm enjoying my coffee yeah the coffee's really good and the, and one of the things they had in the shaker was ground chia seeds Ooh, so that I makes it thick when, yeah, when it accumulates nice. the Whole Foods always has these alluring ads for their um, new coffee of the month kind of thing they want you to get. 
Last month it was the turmeric latte, and this month this is a hazelnut mocha. That chocolate looks tempting. I don't like sweet dessert coffees, but I love chocolate. That looks really chocolatey. The chocolate, not the drink. <laughs> Yeah. Watching cartoons! Hey, little boy. <laughs> How was Curious George? We he likes to watch him. Curious George the cartoon in the morning. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. I want a yellow hat like that man. Oh, I missed you, little boy. I missed you. I missed you. Aww. We have good morning time, Bo. Little boy picture year. I like it that way, it's cool. Hello! Happy to see you! Good morning! It's uh, apple cider vinegar. Oh. It's a little tang. What do you think? I really like it. I think yeah. maybe, you know, you could use it with pasta. It's or... good on the apple, yeah. Baked potato would be really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, baked yeah. potato with broccoli and or that on top. Yeah, cheese, that, cheese sauce. that's tempting. I might want to have that. <laughs> Not for you, little boy. Hello, I'm pulling out all my toys. I took a nap and now I'm tan and rested. Oh, no. I'm ready to play fetch. Oh. Well, hey guys, what's up? I am back home and I just finished up at the gym and got out of the shower. That vegan cheese, I've never made vegan cashew cheese before. Like I said in the little title slide, I will put the link to the recipe in the description box for you guys. It came out really good. I don't think it tastes like cheese whatsoever, but I, I really liked it. It, um, I mean, I suppose it would depend on how you flavored it. This one was kind of intended to 
be pseudo mozzarella like I guess um, but I have had no luck with any of the vegan cheeses I don't like any of them like Daya follow your heart the only one that I like the only like store-bought one is so delicious makes a coconut uh, vegan cheese that that one is is good but you know I haven't really found one that speaks to me and that I enjoy and that tastes palatable they all kind of they all kind of have, I don't know they have this plasticky-ness that I don't know sort of off-putting but uh yeah that was that was fun it's always it's always better to kind of figure out how to make your own things um so yeah I recommend that recipe at least as a starting point I'd like to play around with it a little bit more and see see how to how to change it up but anyways I wanted to share with you guys the Aveeno positively mineral sensitive skin sunscreen that I talked about this what in Walmart one of my Walmart videos recently it's fairly new from Aveeno I also pointed it out what in Walgreens maybe and I got it recently and have been using it as a body sunscreen and I actually love it um disclaimer it is not strikingly different in any way shape or form from the Aveeno mineral baby sunscreen the one that's got kind of a lavender color you know lavender on the front maybe a duck I want to say I'm not entirely sure there are a few like splitting hairs type differences in the vehicle formulation but putting it on and wearing it and the protection that you that it either afford I mean you're not your brain's not going to know your skin's not going to know it does doesn't matter. So that being said, if you have the Aveeno baby mineral one laying around and you're wondering about this one, finish that one up uh, before running out and buying this. And it's probably like knowing knowing skincare brands, it's probably like, I don't know, 30 cents cheaper or something. But um, I've really been enjoying this as a body sunscreen. It is zinc only, so you won't have any issue uh, taking this with you to Hawaii or, you know, uh, Florida now the keys uh, stay tuned but you know eventually that they'll be cracking down on that um, so yeah this this is a good one to consider for like spring break and for upcoming you know if your kids are in sports this spring season you're looking for a body sunscreen this is really good um, I was thinking like why is this bottle only three ounces like how long is that gonna last but one thing that's really impressive about this and likewise their baby formulation um, is that a, a little bit actually spreads very well on the skin you get a good you get a lot of coverage with a tiny tiny amount so so this goes very far, which I like. It spreads very easily on the skin and it's also very moisturizing. You know, zinc or mineral only sunscreens, they can be drying a little bit, uh, people find. This is not drying whatsoever. Fragrance free, very sensitive skin friendly, very um, acne friendly on the body. There's there's nothing in this that uh, should cause issue. Although like I you know, always say, I can never predict that 100% for anyone. It is water resistant, which you need uh, for outdoor activities where you're sweating in particular or you're in the water, absolutely. Uh, when, thing, when sunscreens are water resistant though, that does not mean that you do not reapply them. That doesn't get you out of reapplying them just because they are water resistant. Every sunscreen, every sunscreen has to be reapplied every two hours while you're outdoors or uh, if you're indoors all day long, you know, at least three times a day, but every two hours. The reason being, I mean, it comes off, it's not, you start losing that protection no matter the sunscreen, no matter what it says on the label. So there's some sunscreens like, what is it, Ultra Sun that claims you can put on once a day? No, 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 no. Every sunscreen has to be reapplied, period. Um, so yeah, the only, the only nice thing about what water resistance brings you is water resistant sunscreens offer you is that while you are in the act of sweating and while you are in the act of, you know, swimming in the water during those two hour intervals, your, it's not as though your sunscreen washes off immediately. So you still have good protection while you are, you know, in the water or whatnot. But as soon as you get out, oh, yeah, you absolutely have to reapply, period period. Um, but so this is a good choice, in other words, for, um, you know, summer, spring activities, what have you being outside. And I really like it a lot and recommend it. It is unlike the Neutrogena mineral sunscreen that I shared with you guys in a vlog a while back. Uh, this one uh, goes a lot further. It's a lot easier to spread on the skin. 
This leaves a pretty drastic white cast. Check out my Instagram. I have an image of this and my like arm showing you how it goes on so you can see the cast in natural lighting. Um, but it is very casty. So if you put this on the face, you're going to want to camouflage the tint with um, like a tinted sunscreen. And um, it's pretty heavy on the face, a little greasy appearing, a little, you know, kind of over overboard. You, you probably cosmetically, you're not going to like it, period. I mean, you're just not. Some people will, but you know, some people will be okay with it, but it's pretty heavy, pretty zinky, pretty shiny for the face. They make a face sunscreen, uh, by the way, this one's, this one's kind of their, their body, although it doesn't specify body, but they make one that specifies face. It's SPF 50. It clumps a little bit, um, still leaves a cast a little less so than this. Um, but you know, it's not it's not li like strikingly different I, I I've tried it and it does do it does do that pilling and clumping um, so you know don't get your hopes up too much for that one being too too different but bottom line I really like this it is a great choice for your family um, very very easy to apply and if you put it on your face while you are say running for example outside this will stay in place nicely and not run into your eyes and cause burning or at least it shouldn't um, so yeah strongly consider it and I have I have rather been enjoying it I um, you know last summer I um, had the vino uh, sensitive baby a lot um, I used a fair amount I used I think I went through one one of these last summer and the baby so I, I will definitely go through this this spring summer whatnot but yeah if you were wondering about it I, I think it's a good one and gives you very good broad spectrum coverage so yeah but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the vlogs this weekend and um, you know whatnot with my mom and Ty B. I'm sure you guys missed them last week when I was away, but happy to be back. So if you enjoyed the vlogs, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.